I want to throw this up real quick because I was having issues with this and I finally found the problem. Um, our radiator cooling fan quit working. This is a 2006 Corolla. It's going to be similar, if not exactly the same, whether you got the base model or the Matrix or the 1ZZ or the 2ZZ motor like this. Very, very similar. So the cooling fan quit working and uh, replaced it because the car has 250,000 miles after all and the fan was a little busted up. Assume that was the issue. Uh, still, cooling fan's not working. Right here you got two relays for the fan. Fan one, fan two, I'm assuming high and low. Uh, these two are the same. This is your horn relay. So I switched the low fan, which won't kick on. Neither high or low speed was kicking on. I switched it with horn to confirm that that relay was good and the horn still honked. It doesn't honk with it out. So that verified that this relay is fine, which really didn't make sense why the fan wouldn't kick on then because first you have low that'll kick on and then high. So even if the high relay was bad, it still, the low still should have kicked on because I confirmed that that relay was good. Um, so I was reading about a little trick you can do. Your uh, coolant temperature sensor is right down there next to this really hot radiator pipe it just plugs in there next to it uh, with the key on the on position or with the car running when you unplug that the fans out of default should automatically kick on and they weren't so I was like all right what the hell is going on maybe I have a wiring issue uh, the wiring looks good it's all down here and it it loops into the same wiring as the headlight and obviously my headlight works so don't think there's a wiring issue so about the only thing left was the ECU uh, don't have any problems at all there's no reason this car should have a problem with the ECU but can happen um, but I finally figured out what was wrong I happened to overlook that fuse right there RDI and radiator fan I just saw this two fan there I was thinking relays uh, my problem is that fuse because there's a little bridge gap in there you can see it's broken that's what it should look like and mine's broken <laughs> so obviously uh, there's methods to testing the fan you know you can run some wires to the battery and see if it turns over but I knew it wasn't the fan because it was brand new uh, wiring checked out relays checked out and so I tried to test it by unplugging it and they won't kick on like they should when you unplug it so that what led me to double and triple check everything and find out it's this stupid ass little fuse by the way one last note if you unplug that uh, and have the car running it does not register the temperature so don't overheat it <laughs>